guys, it's Flexi, and I thought I would do an update video since I haven't uploaded it in so long. I will get into that some point in this video, but anyway, um, I wanted to tell you what's going on with my life. So, school started about a month ago now and I've been struggling emotionally because I'm used to bonding with older people and being that I'm a senior this year there are no older people for me to bond with so it's lonely because it's like all of the students at my school have this predetermined judgment of who they think I am because they all know me and that is kind of irritating because they don't know what my personality is actually like. They just avoid me based on what they think they know. And that is really messed up, but that's a part of the that's a part of our society. So I can't really control that. That's their problem. But yeah, it's just kind of uh, it's just really lonely. So I find that I'm not really happy anymore. But yeah, um, so there's that, and then, um, the day before homecoming, Austin wanted to hang out, and we haven't seen each other in, like, a month, so I was really excited, but I have this feeling in the back of my head that, that, something bad was going to happen and I was right because he broke up with me so we broke up the day before homecoming and I was a mess and homecoming was really lonely and I still had fun kind of but it was just lonely so yeah, that happened. And now Austin and I don't talk like we used to. And that upsets me because we used to be close-ish. But like, I'm used to people leaving so I've been trying not to let it bother me that much. But yeah, like I, like I feel like there's almost nobody to hang out with. Like I have one good friend left, and she goes to to Austin school, so even I don't get to see her that much. So yeah, I'm just lonely, and no one seems to understand that. Like they think I'm being overly dramatic when I vent to them and say. I'm lonely because I have no one to talk to and I have no one to hang out with on a regular basis. And they don't seem to believe that it's actually an issue when really it is. But yeah, it's just really annoying when people you try when people you try to explain things to don't understand what they're ta you're talking about because yeah so i've been, i've been struggling with a lot of shit lately and it's not very fair because i already have enough to deal with like i hate needing help as much as i do but i can't help that because i have cerebral palsy and yeah, 
I feel like that's why the kids avoid me pretty much. <laughs> and it's really fucking stupid, but yeah. Um Most of the kids don't like me and only a handful of my teachers like me. But yeah, so School is kind of emotionally draining at this point, but yeah. And it feels weird for me to say that since I used to love going to school and now I don't really look forward to it all that much. <laughs> but it gets me out of the house so that's something. So yeah, there's that, and then, um, I started student teaching, which pretty much saved my emotional and mental health, because it helped so much, because, um, the junior high kids actually respect me for who I am, and, because they don't have this predetermined judgment of who I am. Because they don't know me that well, which is really good because they're all homie really friendly and they're really nice and they're, it's just nice to be respected by some, somebody. So yeah, there's that and then it's the only school thing I look forward to anymore. So yeah, there's that. And then, yes, I still work on the weekend. And if I'm not working on the weekend, I'm doing anatomy homework because anatomy is so much work. I have homework in that like almost every single night. Yeah, so that's part of the reason why I can't upload as often as I should. Because with work and anatomy homework, like, I don't have time to sit in front of the computer and edit a video. And I can't be in my house for that long anyway because of my anxiety issues. Like, I cannot be at my house. Period. Like, it's hard. I feel like I'm weird because I'm the opposite of most people. Most people love being home. Most people have different anxiety triggers than I do. Most people... get tired really easily and I'm the complete opposite of that which is really hard because I have a opposing viewpoints to almost everyone I talk to like we can't like it's hard for me to agree with people because I see things in a different way than most people see which is really hard and yeah, um, so there's that. I will try to upload as often as I can, but I can't promise that I, that it's going to be frequently because, like I said, I'm busy with all kind of stuff and I'm literally never at my house unless I'm like, sleeping or trying to fall asleep or showering. So that, that's like the only time I'm at my house. Like legit. Because if I'm at my if I'm at my house any longer than I have to be, I will have a legit panic attack like it is so bad. <clears throat> and also I'm getting over being sick, which is why 
I haven't been talking in front of the camera that much because I figured it wouldn't be good to make a YouTube video with me coughing every five seconds because you want to be able to understand me, but I'm better now, so it's okay. So, yeah, there's that, and then, um... I think that's all I wanted to say. But, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.